Guess what? Guess what? So Sean Porter is going to be taking on Terence Crawford. Sean Porter is going to be taking on Terence Crawford. I think this fight should be uh, a pretty good fight. Uh, I've been waiting for Terence Crawford, you know, to waiting for somehow, somehow this bridge to be made between top rank and PBC um, because Sean Porter, Terence Crawford's had to be fighting all these Kel Brooks and Ame Khans and all these you know, all these guys that are just over the hill, man. Injured guys, been fighting for time. You know, regi big registered names, but can't really register the performances, you know, needed to, you know, really challenge Terence Crawford. And for the first time, we're going to get a, a fight, you know, in Terence Crawford versus a PBC fighter. I've been saying it, Keith Furman, Sean Porter, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia. I'm like, what? When? Like, all look at the names, man. When is that we're going to get Terence Crawford fighting any? Because, unfortunately, all the main names are on the PBC side. So, something's got to give. I don't know. The PBC guys don't seem to want any of their fighters to potentially losing to Terence Crawford. I, 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 don't know, I, did, I don't know what the problem was. But now, at least, we're going to get Terence Crawford versus Sean Porter, which should be... It's, it's not should be. It's going to be an absolutely... Pff, that fight... It's going to be a barn fest. Let's just put it that way. Sean po Showtime Porter in a fight. There's going to be an absolute, absolute barn fest. This guy is going to bring the smoke. Let's just put it that way. But listen, before I jump into this thing, make sure you guys like my video, share the video, drop your comments in the comment section below on Sean Porter versus um, Terrence Crawford. Um, really looking forward to this fight uh, in November. This guy, this fight is going to be serious. You know, just based off the styles, man. You know, T Sean Porter versus Errol Spence. Sean Porter versus Kell Brook. Sean Porter, you know, all the fights. This guy's not playing around. He's not coming to plants around, dance around, you know, trying to gaff people's respect. This guy comes for a war. It's not that he just comes recklessly he comes with skills and he comes he, he like, just got the war skills let's put it that way this guy is going to come and bring the smoke and i think it's the first time we're going to see terence crawford with a real like you know you know live uh what do you call it welterweight that's really still doing bits right now in the in the you know welterweight division you know if we can see the same sean porter that for Errol Spence against Terence Crawford. Uh, listen, that's going to be an interesting yardstick to see how Terence Crawford handles all that, you know, because he gave Errol Spence everything he can handle, you know. That's why it was a split decision. Split decision, you know. That's why it, it's not like he lost by Errol Spence, unanimous decision, anything like that. Split decision loss to Errol Spence, and, you know, well-deserved. Like, obviously, I felt Errol Spence beat Sean Porter, but, you know, if he's getting split decision against Errol Spence... It will, you know, I, I very much sure believe that this guy's going to put in the work to try and beat um, Terence Crawford. Do I believe he will actually win the fight? I'm not going to put it past him because when you throw as many shots as he does, you get as aggressive uh, as Sean Porter does. He's going to keep Terence Crawford on his toes. And, you know, you know, Terence Crawford's not the biggest uh, welterweight out there. So, will he's, he's, you know, he's, if Sean Porter's an extremely strong man in the welterweight division, he's going to be imposing his strength on Terence Crawford, which is going to be interesting to see how Terence Crawford handles that. But Terence Crawford, the warrior on himself, technically very gifted, you know, very, very slick. You know, we've seen how, how sharp, sharp shooter, uh, how, how much of a sharp shooter he really is. And when he fought uh, Amir Khan, Kel Brook as well, it's going to be, <laughs> listen, 50-50 fight, man. You know, this ain't a fight where you can say he's definitely going to be Terence Crawford. It's definitely going to be Sean Porter. Obviously, most people are going to lean maybe 60-40 in Terence Crawford's favour just because of, you know, obviously he hasn't fought any of the PBC guys, but just based off, sorry guys, just based off what he's done previously, what based off what he's done previously uh, in boxing and also what he's done in the welterweight division based off the opponents that he's been able, that has been put in front of him, you know, he has really done the job and he has looked quite, he has looked good. But unfortunately, Bob Arum seems to think that Terence Crawford can't sell but whose fault is that? You're the promoter, you know. What what does Errol Spence do? Errol Spence don't do nothing that's really selling anything. All he does is really put in good performances. He's not the brash outlandish talker. But why is he's been pushed much better than you know than uh, than than Terence Crawford has been pushed? But let me not jump into too much into the marketing and all them kind of things. But I just feel like this is going to be a very serious fight, a very tough fight. 
probably, arguably, probably potentially the toughest fight for Terence. I would be shocked if Terence Crawford somehow stopped Sean Paul. I, I think that would be a magnificent performance if he was able to go in there and, and st somehow stop uh, uh, Sean Porter because it, it, er Errol Spence wasn't even banged it, banged it, banged Sean Porter on the chin with that devastating left hook. This guy was asking for more smoke. Nah, man, nah, nah, nah. Terence Crawford ain't stopping no, no, no Sean Porter. I'll be surprised, man. Unless this guy's come off the ball now and he's no longer, you know, moving, playing, fighting as well as he normally does, then uh, maybe something like that could happen. But, you no, know, for me, I just feel like it's going to be a very close fight. I wouldn't be shocked if he went split decision either way. And I wouldn't be surprised if, obviously, Terence Crawford won the fight, but he's got a little, he has some trouble along the way. Or if Sean Porter wins the fight and he has trouble along the way. We never really know. It's going to be interesting to see because I'm, I'm waiting to see how Terence Crawford takes on some of these PBC um, uh, uh, well awaits man and this is the problem that's happening in boxing right now we can't get the big fights in a lot of weight classes just because of all this business end of things man we just want to see the fights the fans we want to see the big fights but let's see what happens man what do you guys think who's going to win this fight Terence Crawford versus um, Terence Crawford versus Sean Porter um, who's going to win that fight and obviously the main fight we all want to see is Errol Spence versus um Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford but obviously Errol Spence was meant to fight Pacquiao and you know Pacquiao you know is he is he going into retirement Errol Spence ain't gonna fight him we got your Dennis Ugas again another guy on the PBC side like <laughs> that Terence Crawford like this is unfortunate bro Terence Crawford all the main guys are you know, on the other side like the fight I want to see I want to see Errol Spence fight a Ugas man that would be a very good fight you know, for, you know, unification right there. And then maybe the winner of that somehow, somehow, we're all praying, maybe the winner of you guys, Spence, can somehow get a fight on with Terence Crawford, which will probably be, you know, arguably the biggest selling fight in the welterweight, in the welterweight division, or arguably one of the biggest selling fights in recently in that weight class at all, bar probably for the mayor of Canelo. So, you have to wait and see what happens, man. Make sure you guys drop your comments in the comment section below. Who's going to win Terence Crawford? Or Sean Porter, who you who you got your money on to win that fight? It's gonna be, a, I think it's gonna be a very close fight. Both guys, very talented fighters, experienced fighters. So you know, this is definitely the elite of the elite when it comes to the welterweight division. And you know, boxing IQ at hundred percent. Let's see what's going on, man. Cool.